Hello everyone and welcome to game 8 of the campaign play along of TCU for the Black Throne. This is it. This is the final scenario. I'm so excited. Uh, so, sub stuff or pregame stuff. We have the world and it's inverted. If each of us here defeated this game, suffers one trauma of their choice during its resolution. This doesn't matter. I don't even think it can kill anybody necessarily, so it really is just a minor story beat at, at, at best. Uh, if we win the scenario, then we win the campaign. If we lose the scenario, we lose the campaign, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so then we have our agenda with four doom on it, and we need to get to the hideous palace and spend one clue, or two clues. And here's Azathoth in all of its uh, amazing glory. Azathoth is oblivious and omnipotent. I love, I love that rule sext. We're going to draw our opening hands. I forgot to turn on hands for Jack. Okay. Um, this is pretty good. I have double studious. Yeah, I'm, I, I like ran out of things to spend XP on, so I did a lot of like minor changes. I did some survivability changes. I got Elder Sign Amulet and Jack, just because Azathoth can attack you. And having extra sanity is like really big, I think, potentially. I like having Ace of Rods in my open hand. Police badge is fine. I really want a weapon. Just thinking of mulligan everything looking for a weapon in Zoe. Except for the Ace of Rods. And I got the... Okay, this is an awesome open hand. This is excellent. Jack on the other hand. I don't think I need two cryptic researches. I don't think I need the elusive term one or this or necessarily this. So I'm going to draw back up. Two, three, four. This is awesome. Death is really good in your opening hand, clearly. So, let's click this uh, setup button. You know, I'm going to fill in empty space as per rules written with Zoe's deck. Oh yeah, and we start with five uh, resources on the scenario card. I'm putting them over here so you can keep track of them. Yeah, the tablet is minus two if you fail as a thought attacks you. You really want to be testing at at least two up. We have our cosmic ingress. At the end of the round, add clues until, yeah, okay. So, we have to get to one of these two locations. So, probably the cleanest route is just to go straight across. I don't know exactly how this scenario plays uh, I think I've only played like once and that was my face check and I lost pretty like either lost in like the first or second act so we'll see how this goes okay so let's do our turns so I'm gonna have Zoe now I'm going to have Jack go first. Jack is going to play Cryptic Research on Zoe. One, two, three. Okay, she's got six fence, so she could help out with clues if we need to. Jack is going to play Magnifying Glasses fast. His first action is going to be to investigate. Not really a commit deduction yet. I'm just going to investigate... It's minus two. I'm at four, five, six to two. So I do get a clue. I think I'm gonna investigate again. That's uh, minus two. Half the do one as the author rounded up to a minimum of two. So I succeed that. Now I could use the ability on the act. I think I will. I'm going to spend two clues to search, draw the top uh, two cards of the cosmos, and then choose one 
to put into play and then move to it. So this is connected in the direction of your choice. Okay. Okay, I don't I think I want to take the pathway into the void. And drone type to choose one to put in the play. Shuffle the rest back into the cosmos deck. Okay, so empty space. Um, empty space. Yeah, it's this card shuffled back into Zoe's deck. Okay, cool. Now, I either have to discard a card or take a damage. I think I'm going to discard a hyper awareness that might not be great but I'm gonna use the jack ability to draw a card okay so now Zoe gets to do a thing she's going to play enchanted blade and she's gonna move Discarding, um, I'll discard this overpower, so I don't want to take a damage, and I'm going to draw, gain a resource. That's her done, so we upkeep, there's another overpower, there's an emergency cache, that's pretty good, and then we get a doom on the agenda. And strong character cards. Mysterious chanting. Uh, search and carry deck and discard pile for a cultist. I'm gonna search for an acolyte. Place it back here with a doom on it. And I forgot that this sh location should have three clues on it. Not that that really matters that much, but it should. Alright, we have an Acolyte, and then we have a Wizard of the Order. Any empty location... Oh, that's annoying. That's really bad. Um... That's really bad. So here's the thing. I need to go kill this Wizard of the Order, otherwise it's going to be a problem. But I also need to kill the Acolyte, otherwise that's going to be a problem. I think I'm going to have Zoe go kill the Acolyte. And then maybe next turn I could kill the Wizard of the Order? Maybe? I think that's one. Oh, I forgot. Zoe should have Trauma 1-1. One one. I think that's the plan. So Zoe's going to go first. She's going to move. She engages the Acolyte and gains a resource, which is nice. Then I'm going to attack it with the Enchanted Blade. I'm, I'm at uh, 6 to 3, so I'm up by 3. I think that's fine. That's a Cultist Real Nair token. That's a minus 2, so I succeed. I defeat the Acolyte. And then last action, I'm just going to move back. Alright. We're going to hope Jack can do a thing. Jack is going to investigate and he's going to use this deduction. So he's at 4, 5, 6, 7 to 4. Seems pretty good. Meister, I'm glad I did that. So I get two clues. And I am going to spend both those clues to do the Cosmos deck. So let's flip over two cards. So, either connect below or take two damage and connect to the bottom most revealed location. So, I could actually take two damage to spawn that here, which is fine. Or connect this to the right. That's what I want to do anyway, so I could choose this location. Shuffle this back into the deck. This gets shuffled into Zoe's deck. And Jack moves to this, so. 
I could move to a connecting location. I don't think I want to. I could remove a resource token. I think I'm going to have Jack move down here. Check this out. It's Cosmic Gate. That's not what, where I need to go. I'm going to see you spend one clue or take one horror. Oh, that's annoying. I take a horror. Okay, that that's fine. Uh, let's do upkeep. That's sort of nice. That's pretty nice. Oh, uh, Jack should have, uh, at the end of his turn, gained a card and, or gained a resource and drawn a card. So I'm going to have him do that. The trusty bull up is nice. So we go up to three of four doom. And we draw Ancient Evils because of course we do. That places a Doom on the on this that advances the agenda. We don't remove a Doom from enemies. Uh, each Cultist enemy commits Ritual Suicide. Discard each Cultist enemy in play and move a do all Doom to Azathoth. So that's just one Doom for the rest of the scenario because we couldn't kill two Cultists in one turn. Check the campaign log. If Gilman's journal is... Um, I believe we have Gilman's journal. Yep. You're able to find your way. So we don't take any negative effect. The new agenda has six Doom on it, so... But as the thought already has a Doom on it. So we're going to draw a counter card. So Zoe gets a Mindless Dancer for this empty space. This is there. Actually, I'm going to put it here. And Jack draws Fate of All Fools. He's a fool. That's a little annoying. Not gonna lie. But then we have uh, our next turn. So I think we really want to go over here. Well, I know we really want to go over here. And we need to grab four clues total. So I think I can actually do something. Okay, I'm going to do Zoe first. She's going to move. She's going to move. Um, uh, okay. The Hideous Palace. And then I'm going to spend... I'm going to grab a resource. So I want to play the agency back up next turn. Jack is going to move. He's going to move. Then he's going to play a card called... I'm just going to play my Elder Sign Amulet right now. So if I take more horror, I just can put it there. And that's it. And then he phase the Miles Stance. He's going to move closest to us. Is that location? Oh, Jack's... And the deck jack turn should have drawn a card and gained a resource. Dr. Mala is huge. Then we do upkeep. And then we get a doom, so we're at 2 of 6 doom. And we draw counter cards. The end is not a test. Uh, will 3. Okay, if we fail, we place a doom on Azathoth. So our will is four. I'm gonna use the next courage to go up to three above. So six to three. Zero, that's nice. Another mindless dancer responds to the furthest empty space. That's a lot of mindless dancers. That's a little spooky. I'm gonna have let's see, how does the agent the act work? Uh okay, we just need to have the clues and spend them. I'm going to have Jack go first. He's going to play Dr. Milan. And then he's going to investigate at uh, 6, no, at 7 to 3. Gets a clue, gets a resource. And then I'm going to investigate again at 7 to 3. My sword is a, a clue. Alright, so Zoe could get clues. Uh, I could play agency back up. I could go 
Police badge, six cents. That's also reasonable. I'm gonna play agency backup just because I want it. I don't think I'm gonna trigger the effect yet. And I'm just getting two resources. So he doesn't have that much to do right now, but she will later on. So enemy phase of my list sensors are gonna move. Oh wait. Um yeah, that's fine. And then we upkeep. Nice. Grizzly Totem could be nice. We'll see. Okay, so that is that. And now we do uh, Mythos Phase. We get Doom. We're at 3 to 6. Zoe draws an encounter card. It is another Mindless Dancer. Oh my god. Jack draws Whisper Bargain. I must see your place one Doomer on Azathoth or Azathoth attacks me. I'm gonna have Azathoth attack me. So I could take three horror on my uh, Elder Sign Amulet and three damage to the face. That was fun. But I self sacrificed. Uh, now we're gonna spend the clues to advance. So we can just do this anytime. Okay. Uh, remove Cosmic Ingress from the game. Doink. Shuffle each empty space into its owner's deck. And everything but Hideous Palace into the... Um... Cosmic deck, so we're gonna do that. If an enemy at these locations, each enemy is shuffled in the top five cards of the deck, so. I believe how that works is we take five cards. Then we shuffle all the mindless dancers into here. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hit up. Two up. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna place empty space. So now we have four different locations it could be, or three different locations it could be. Um, and then each uh, invest in player where each investor draws the top. Card of the encounter deck. So we'll have Zoe draw the top card of the encounter deck. It is an Ancient Evils. Can't do anything about that. We're at four of six doom. And Jack draws an Acolyte. So that spawns here. We need to go over there and kill it. Like ASAP. Okay, that's that's one. Alright, so now we get to do Jack's turn. Jack is going to try to grab a clue at 7 to 3. Somebody has to, so I succeed to get a resource to draw a card or get a clue. Do I grab another resource? I think I did. Or I'm going to grab another clue. I'm investigating again 7 to 3. I forgot this place should have had two more clues on it because I forgot to refill at the end of the round. And then last action, I'm going to spend both clues to draw the top card of the uh, Cosmos deck. Or draw the top two cards of the Cosmos deck. Um, my Seer connects to the right. So I'm going to connect this to the right, which is what I wanted to do. This gets shuffled into Zoe's deck. And Jack moves there. And he's going to gain a resource with his Jack ability. Alright, so now Zoe can run over there and just smack this cultist. I think that's what she's going to do. So she's going to move. Move. Oh my gosh, that's so lucky. I gained a resource. This is where I need to be. 
Uh, I'm going to attack the, the Acolyte with my Enchanted Blade. I'm 6 to 3. Elder Sign does an extra damage, so I overkilled it. And then I'm going to take a Horror on my Agency Backup to grab a clue. <coughs> yeah, this is really, really lucky. There's a 1 in 3 shot that I just grabbed that as my first location. And it's in, like, the perfect place, too. So that's awesome. Okay, uh, upkeep, right? Nothing else happening? Nope. We're going to do upkeep. Zoe's going to play a sixth sense soon. Uh, another Elder Sign Amulet is nice. Uh, we have to refill locations. Alright, I'm just going to look to see how what we need to do. We need four clues at the core of the old ones. So we just need to get over here and grab three more clues. And we did upkeep, so we're going to do uh, Mythos Phase. So we're at 5 of 6 Doom. Mindless Dancer, further, furthest empty space from Jack is up here, I guess. And Zoe. No, that's Jack. I mean, it didn't matter. This is Jack. Uh, there, is a, there is a Doom on Azathoth. So I have to either lose a resource, choose and discard a card from my hand, take a damage, or take a horror. Uh, I could choose and discard this emergency cash. I don't think I'm going to have time to play it. But losing one resource is also kind of tempting. I'm going to just get discard the emergency cash. That was kind of a whiff. It wasn't exactly a whiff, but it was like pretty soft. Alright, we're going to have Jack go first. He's going to move. We're going to investigate at 3 up. I get a clue, I get a resource, and then last action I'm going to play down Well Connected, just so I have it. And then Zoe is going to do a thing called play a Sixth Sense. She's also going to play her Police Badge. Now she could investigate at 5 to... Investigating at 5 to 4 is like kind of low value. Because if I draw the uh, tablet, that's pretty bad. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Oh, wait, wait. If I draw the tablet, I can just investigate over here and succeed. So, yeah, I'll do that. I'll investigate. Minus 1, I get a clue. I forgot Sixth, sixth Sense actually has an ability. Um, so now the question is, I could grab this clue and then advance. I don't think we need to advance right this second, but I do still want to grab a clue. Now we have enough clues that we could advance the, the act. But I'm going to wait one more round. So we uh, move the model Stancer. The model Stancer is going to hunt here. Not that it really matters. We're going to do upkeep things. Another mad glass is nice, I guess. Uh, dodge is whatever. Or actually, dodge is really, really good. I can dodge an attack from Azathoth. Potentially. We are at 6 Doom, so we're advancing the agenda. We don't remove Doom from Azathoth. So, each cult is sending me. The, there's no cultists in play. Uh, Worn Crucifix is in our mementos discovered, so nothing happens. Cool. Now we get encounter cards. So Zoe gets an encounter card. It is another mindless dancer, which is fine. Jack gets an encounter card. It's another world in darkness. I'm just going to discard a magnifying glass, I think. I don't think I need two of those necessarily. And now, first action, we're going to spend the clues to advance. Uh, remove Hideous Palace from the game. Okay. Whatever. And then we do all this stuff. 
All of this gets shuffled back into Zoe's deck. This gets shuffled back into the Cosmos deck. So is this. These enemies get shuffled into the top five. Yep. So let's cut. Oops. I did not. I don't know what I'm doing. Why will it not let me cut? There we go. Then let's click on some subs. And each investigator draws the top card in the encounter deck. Ancient Evils, that's really fun. Another Doom. And Terror in the Night! Oh, this is annoying. I'm gonna use Well Connected. I'm not gonna use the Well Connected, it gives me a plus one. I'm just gonna fail this test. I guess I could play this, my talks, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna test uh, one to four. I fail and has the thought to tax me and that card surges. Uh, Zoe's gonna play dodge, so as the thought will not attack. Play when enemy attacks and investigate your location, cancel that attack. I believe I can cancel his attacks. Uh, yeah. But this goes next to the agenda deck, and then we draw another encounter card. It is an acolyte. Which is kind of unfortunate. I'm just gonna spawn the acolyte here. Alright, uh, I don't really know where we need to go now. There's four different locations. We need to get to one of those locations and remove all the clues from the Black Throne. So that's cool. I'm going to have Jack go first. He's going to investigate at uh, 7 to 4. Plus 1, he gets a resource. Oh, no. Not from that, from Dr. Milan. And he gets a clue. I'm just going to spend this clue now to advance. Not to advance, just to draw the top part of the Cosmos deck. Dancer's Myths, all connected to the right, that's fine. And then I could investigate there. I think I will. Let's spend the last action to investigate at 7 to 3. I get a clue. Zoe's going to move and investigate at yeah, seven to, or 5 to 3. Tablet is a success, so I get a clue. Then I'm going to spend this clue to just draw a card, the top card of the Cosmos deck. Uh, I could lose, I don't have two resources to lose, so this is just going to go to the right. Which is a little unfortunate, really need to go there, but that's fine. And then she moves over here. And I could use the agency backup, I don't think I will. I don't need the clues that badly. I would rather save them for something, something else. So we're going to, oh, Jack then uses Jack ability to draw a card. Then we're gonna upkeep. Okay. We're at two, three, four of eight doom. So he gets Terra in the night. She's currently up by one. And there's nothing to commit, so we're just up one. Minus four failed by three, so this will go next to the deck and gain surge. And we drew a mindless dancer response for this from Zoe. I'm just gonna put it down here. 
Jack gets a mindless dancer, spawns empty space earths from Jack. I'm just going to put it here. Alright, um... Jack is first action going to spend his clue to draw the top card of the Cosmos deck. This goes above, that's what I wanted it to do. So he goes over here. And he's going to spend uh, his second action to move and engage with this cultist. <gasps> it's the freaking Black Throne! Oh my gosh, this was so lucky. Um, Jack is going to play his trusty bullwhip fast and then he's going to attack the Acolyte with the trusty bullwhip. Using this to give him a plus one. He's currently at uh, f uh, he's at five, six to three. He doesn't have to exhaust this. Six to three is a success, so he defeats the acolyte. Oh my gosh! All right, Zoe's so gonna move, move. Oh uh, no, she's gonna move. She's going to use the ability on the Dancer's Myths to remove one resource to move to a connecting location. Then she's going to move. Then we're going to investigate using six cents. So she's at a five to a two. Because there's one Doom on Azathoth. And that's a minus, th minus two because that's the minimum I could go. I get the clue. Oh, Jack didn't do his Jack thing. He gets a resource and a card. Small favor is nice. Uh, the Miles Sancers are going to hunt. And then we're going to upkeep. Um, smite the Wicked. We discard until we hit an enemy. This spawns at the location furthest from us. I'm just going to put it here. Okay. That's fine. And then I have to discard a card from Jack. I'm going to discard this emergency cash. I'm not going to play it. Uh, I think we can just win on Jack's next turn. So as long as we don't die before then. We were at 4 of 8 Doom. Um, Zoe's gonna choose that Azathoth attacker. She takes one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh no, Terror in the Night. That's very bad. We're going to use Well Connect to give us a plus two. We're gonna commit this Elder Sign Amulet to give us another plus two. So we are at five to four, up by one. I could commit this Grizzly Tome. I'm up by two. I think that's good enough. Cultist minus three. I fail. I mean, I committed everything I could. So, I don't feel that bad about it. But that sucks. And also, this is draw. Or search for a Cultist enemy. Okay, that's not that, not that bad. Um, let's see. What is it? It is... Search the encounter deck and discard pile for a cultist enemy. There's not one in the encounter deck, so I'm going to search for the dude discard pile for an acolyte. We're just going to spawn behind us. We didn't fail by two, which is nice, so this isn't surge. But, there's now three, so everybody takes three horror. So, one, two, three. And Zoe's going to go 1, 2, 3. Alright. Jack is going to take his turn first. We are going to invest... Or we're going to play... No, we're going to investigate? No, we're going to play uh, Intel Report for 1, 2, 3, 4. And grab two clues. And then I'm going to investigate at 6 to 4. 
or six to two. Sorry. Got the other sign. Got the clue. Uh, the lead investigators at the Black Throne. There are no clues. Advance. Uh, check the campaign log. Okay, so we have. Let's see. What do we have? We have mesmerizing flute and ritual components. Um. Yeah, and we accept our fate. So we get R2. Oh my gosh. That was. Uh, an incredible scenario. I'm just looking at things. I don't even know where this is. Okay, here we go. We get R2. The lead investigator. So Zoe is now a Piper of Azathoth. Azathoth that slumbers for now. Zoe goes insane. Uh, Jack gets five bonus XP, so five XP, and suffers two mental drama, but we win the campaign. Woo! That was a really incredibly easy run of Before the Black Throne. I got super lucky on those last two, uh, acts. The very first, uh, cosmic location I went to was the one I needed. So, I, I think I feel like you got very, very lucky, but, I mean, I guess that's how it works. We did, we were about halfway through the last agenda, so that was bad. This happened, which is annoying, and it almost killed Zoe. But that's fine. We still did it anyway. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did. We have completed... The campaign play along with a win. And so I will see you uh, for the next one. Bye.